today at four, there is a lot of focus on Black Friday and Cyber Monday right now. But don't forget about Small Business Saturday, too. There are tons of small businesses turning out creative ideas, including one local woman who built a successful bag company from a terrible looking dress. Megan Schiller and KDKA photojournalist Dave Colabine explain. With a sewing machine as the instrument, the needle sharp pulses as the music. Wendy Downs orchestrates success to her own tune. I was a young teenage single mom. I was on welfare and working myself through school. A creative soul, she grew up fast and wanted to get into the business of making clothes. It didn't turn out the way I wanted to because I didn't know how to make a dress. And I ended up turning that in on itself, folding in half and putting a handle on it, and it became the first bag that I ever sold. And she realized she had something. I would say that if the year old me never could have imagined that the 40 year old me would be in this place. From welfare to well made minimalist bags. I don't really believe that we fall in a luxury market. Like we make a bag that's intended to be used day in and day out, no matter what rain, sunshine, snow, like whatever, drag it around with you until it dies. She called the company Moop for no particular reason. The name is completely arbitrary. The best sellers. This is called our backpack number one. And all of our, our bags follow, you know, the same way that my design aesthetic is very minimal. And the company's first bag. The very first bag I made is called the market bag. And it is still part of our collection and always will be. Bags that men and women can use in basic colors. We are a small and busy team. A growing team. And I do a little bit of everything around here. Nestled in a downtown workshop. Jesse Caggiano is one of just four employees. They see us making the product that they are hopefully going to be walking out with. It's cool. It's different. Not much, uh, not much like that here. Unintentional intimacy and a commitment to quality. Our leather that we use comes from a shoe manufacturer in upstate New York, and we try to upcycle his scraps. A philosophy that attracts the curious. So when you come in here, we're producing, we are the people behind the product that you're purchasing, and everything that we make, we make right here. Megan Schiller, KDKA TV News.